Okay, um, I bought this uh, product called Alpacine. It's, uh, it's a German brand made in Germany and it's a uh, caffeine shampoo. And apparently it helps with hair loss. It says on the, on the brand in here, reduces hair loss, stimulates hair roots during washing. It had quite good reviews on the market. So I can't really say whether this has worked or not for me because so far I've only been using this about a week. So I'll have to do an update when I finish the bottle, maybe by the end of the month and tell you guys. But I will say this, by no means do I expect and do I believe that a, a product like this is gonna miraculously grow back my, um, you know, where I'm losing my hair. But 95% of me, 97% probably doesn't believe it's gonna work. There's three to 5% that believes maybe, just maybe something, um, something might budge. But yeah, when I've gone online, the, the thing that gives me a bad feeling, there's loads of people online, guys and girls, doing reviews on this product. Some are more older, some are more recent. And no one's really, there's not one person I saw, if you can find them, you know, send me the link below this video. No one's really actually said, yes, this product worked 100%. Like, look, my hair's gone from bald or balding receded, and now it's grown back. But I will say this though, Knowing what I know about business and marketing and branding and the way that businesses use words and play on words and play on people's insecurities, I haven't, no one's really noticed this. I haven't seen them in their um, reviews on this product say this. It, it doesn't actually say on the product that it will grow your hair back. It says reduces hair loss. Now, if you, if you understand what that word means, reduce doesn't mean fully get rid of it. It means reduce. So if you're losing your hair already, from understanding what that word means, it's, it's not saying that it's gonna grow your hair back or where you've got a bald spot. It's not saying that, so it's kind of misleading because a lot of people are gonna see, well, hair loss, you know, for hair loss, but you have gotta read, like I said, at the bottom of the bottle in orange and white writing, it says reduces. And that's the thing what marketers do, unfortunately. I don't agree on it, I wouldn't do anything like that, but most marketing, it either outrightly lies, or it doesn't completely lie, but it doesn't completely be honest, and it kind of plays on words, manipulates words to get you to think, oh yeah, I'll buy this, this is gonna, you know. So I wouldn't do that to people. I, these people, they're not paying me, I'm not being paid to talk about this, I wouldn't promote it. Unless this worked, and I saw my hair completely transform, then I would be honest with everyone and say, this has worked for me, but I'd still say, there's no guarantee that it's going to work for the next person because we've all got different genetics, obviously different um, hairlines, different hair and a different reaction to products. But yeah, um, it, it definitely feels like my hair feels a little bit thicker and more healthier and it just you just get a feeling when you've washed it, you just feel it feels like refreshed. But in terms of hair growing back, I haven't noticed any of that, but then it's only been a week, so I'll have to update you guys and, and let you know. But let me know your thoughts if you've used this product before, Alpacine, it's a popular one. You know, I think a lot of people, because it's made in Germany, we kind of, because the Germans have got such a good reputation, you know, usually with products and producing things, you kind of think if it's made in Germany, it's gonna work, but I still have my doubts because, you know, can a shampoo, can caffeine or whatever this product's got in it, all these different things, sodium, aqua, all these, um, chloride, can all these things really, you know, win the fight against hair loss? I, I'm, I'm skeptical. If that, if that was the case, then wouldn't the whole world have grown, grown their hair back? But I don't know. Maybe it will help for some. But yeah, it's easy to use. Basically, anyway, you, you rinse, you know, you rinse your hair, you put on the product. They recommend you leave it for two minutes, leave it on your head, scalp, and then, then you wash it off. But because I've been using other shampoos, guys. I can't really notice the difference because if I show you my other shampoo, which isn't for hair loss, I've, it's probably better than this. It, when you use it, it, it puffs your hair out, it makes your hair thicker. So it kind of gives you the feeling and the illusion that your hair's growing back and it smells, smells lovely, but it's not, um, it's not rec it doesn't say it for hair loss. This is specifically, but yeah, I don't know, man. It's early days yet. Let me know your thoughts in the box below and I'll, I'll update you guys in a few more weeks time when I've been continuing to use it. But so far, I can't notice anything, any changes w w with my hair loss since using this product, all right? Become fearless, talk to you soon.